Well, tonight we had a few thunderstorms go through the area. Nothing real severe here, but we were under a severe threat. They passed nearby, and we did get some needed rain, about a half an inch, but really dry here now, so we did uh, get some needed rain out of it. But uh, since the thunderstorms were in the area, I thought it would be a good time to uh, kind of show the SkyScan lightning detector I have off a little bit. Uh, I've had this for many years, uh, probably maybe 15 years or something like that. I think they're still manufacturing these, but newer versions, of course. Um, SkyScan, um, I don't know, uh, I haven't looked it up uh, recently. I looked it up uh, a while back, and I know they were still in business. Uh, so you just do a search on SkyScan. But there's a lot of other, other manufacturers out there that are making lightning detectors similar to this. And, uh, and this one has worked good for me, but I'm not a representative for the company or have nothing to do with that at all. So I'm just showing you my unit here, basically. So uh, let's take a look at the video here. So this is the unit I have, and like I say, I've had this for many years. I don't know what the newer versions uh, look like. I think last time I checked, uh, they had something look that looks similar to this. Maybe it has some upgraded circuitry, and uh, who knows? Uh, a lot of them probably have some upgraded circuitry by other manufacturers also on these these days, because this is getting quite old. But it still works to really good. I'm really impressed with how this has worked over the years. It does have uh, an external 9 volt DC input, which I haven't used. Otherwise, uh, just takes batteries here. Uh, two 9 volt batteries I see, and they have been in this unit for years. It just uh, keeps playing and playing on these batteries. And so, let's see, we just have the on off. I usually turn it on like that and it cycles through. Once that starts blinking up there, there's this tone. I like to have the tone on. I turn that on so you can hear that little chirp, that beep, every time you get a lightning strike. There's a low battery indicator, and there's a battery save you can turn on. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure. I don't remember what that really does, but I haven't used that, and my batteries still last a long time. And basically, you have the storm distance in miles, 0 to 3 miles, 3 to 8 miles, 8 to 20 miles, and 20 to 40 miles. Obviously, they can't narrow it down any more than that, or I don't know, maybe some of the newer ones can, but this is pretty accurate. I've found over the years uh, watching a storm come in and watching the radar with uh, lightning strikes, and this mainly looks for cloud-to-ground lightning strikes. Um, the cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning strikes don't seem to trigger it much, and I don't know how they do it, but this is designed to pick up more of the cloud-to-ground lightning. That's what you're concerned about, and this is designed to take on, uh, see there's a storm in the area here, yet it just triggered. Uh, the storm is still leaving the area here. 8 to 20 miles, there's a lightning strike cloud to ground. But anyhow, this is designed to maybe take on the golf course or something like that. Uh, give you an idea when storms are coming. But I've had a lot of fun with it, kind of watching the storms come in. And you can also select the range if you want to limit it to a certain level. But I always leave it on the maximum level. Well, we had some uh, rain go through. Uh, earlier and more storms are expected to come through so I've got the sky scan ready as you can see uh, it's picking up some distant lightning in the 20 to 40 mile range according to radar and that looks about accurate now as time goes on uh, you'll see it moves within the 8 to 20 mile range here showing some cloud to ground lightning And a little bit later again, you'll see we're triggering in the 3 to 8 mile range. And that seems very accurate here, and the storm is just going to pass just to the south of me. You'll notice it getting closer here all the time. And 
the storm is just about as close as it's going to get to me. It's just passing by the south of me here, the most severe part. Yeah, I'm still getting a good downpour here right now, but the main storm is just south of me, and you'll see zero to three mile range showing up lightning strikes here. And it's a little later again. Looks like the storm has passed us by. Maybe some more cells to come later. Thanks for watching. Check back again soon.